Well, the James Webb Space Telescope is the star of the science world, sending back sharp images from deeper in space than we've ever seen before. Early pictures from the telescope were just used to adjust it. As Kega 9 on your side's Craig Smith reports, now there are new pictures that show the telescope's real power and the U of A's help to make that happen. There are amazing images coming in from very deep space and a lot of the ability to get those images started here at the University of Arizona. This is essentially a baby picture of our universe from light that left these stars and galaxies 13.1 billion years ago. It's awe-inspiring. It's jaw-dropping, you know. That's Kevin Hainline. He's amazed at the images coming back from the Webb Space Telescope, even though he is part of the team of University of Arizona astronomers who helped make them possible. U of A designed the NearCam, one of the telescope's main cameras. The Webb is designed to gather infrared light, our eyes cannot see infrared, so these pictures are adjusted to be visible, but still scientifically accurate. Infrared cuts through dust in space and reveals features of stars and galaxies we couldn't see any other way. So we're seeing it only a number of hundred million years after the Big Bang, really a very, very young, very pristine galaxy. Uh, and that's just, that's just the one that they happen to show in the image. Once the scientists get the data like, and can actually look at it a little bit more carefully, I'm sure we're going to find even farther galaxies. Hainline says U of A has 30 or 40 scientists working on the telescope. And since U of A helped develop key parts of the web, scientists there get guaranteed time on the scope to see what new secrets it will reveal. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.